Hello everyone, welcome to the A-Level Centre at Berry College. My name's Chris Stoker and I'm the Head of A-Level Study Programmes here at the College. This short video is just going to be an introduction to what it's going to be like to be a student here and also give you a bit more information in preparation for your interview. So, first of all, why choose Berry College? Well, we've got a 98.9% .9 pass rate for all of our A-Level students, 100% pass rate in 19 of our A-Level subjects, and 76% A star to C grades. We've currently got 512 A-level students, and those students are studying five hours per subject per week. In addition to the academic subjects, we've also got a diverse range of enrichment and careers development programs, which will run alongside the academic subjects. And one thing that we really pride ourselves with here at the college is the support that we provide for students. We take a holistic approach to support, whether that be academic or pastoral, if a student is underperforming in a subject, we will have mechanisms in place that will help them improve. And if a student needs any additional support outside of college life, we've got a fantastic team of personal tutors and pastoral managers who are here to help. What is a study programme? Well, it's individual to each learner. It's made up of three A-levels studied across two years. And the very next part of your application process is going to be your interview, where you'll sit down with a member of the A-level team and we'll help you to choose the subjects which fit your career path best. So in addition to the subjects, you're also going to have a programme of work-related learning and careers development which will run, run alongside. Also, as part of the A-Level Study Programme, is the enrichment. That's a really important part of your study programme. It's a chance every week to take a step back from your academic studies and do something else that you enjoy. So we run a wide variety of different clubs, anything from sports, Duke of Edinburgh, chess club, debating society, and we're really keen to start new clubs as well. So if you have any ideas, then please let us know. So, things to consider when choosing your A-levels. Number one, do you enjoy the subject? And that's really important. At the moment, you're studying GCSEs, you're doing eight or nine different subjects, and when you come to A-level, you're gonna bring those down to just three. You've got to make sure you enjoy them to get the most out of them. Number two, do they get you to where you want to go? So we will talk to you a little bit about that at interview and we can help you, but it does help us if you've done your research a little bit first. Number three, do you need to keep your options open? So not everybody knows exactly what they want to do after their A-levels, that's absolutely fine. Um, we offer a wide range of facilitating subjects like English, Sciences, History and Geography, um, which are accepted on a wide range of university courses, apprenticeships, and also by employers. So if you want to discuss one of those, then you can mention it at your interview. So what A-levels do we offer? Well, if you look on the screen at the minute, we've got a list of all the A-levels grouped by career aim. I also want to draw your attention to some of the subjects on there that have got a little star next to them. Now there are vocational equivalents. So the equivalent to one A-level after two years, but we only say you should take one of those as part of an A-level study program. What do we ask from you? Well, as a minimum to study A-levels at Bury College, you need three fours and three fives. And as part of that, you also need a four in your GCSE, English and Maths. Now, some of our subjects do have their own entry requirements. So for example, if you want to study further Maths, you must have a grade seven in Maths. If you want to study Science, you need a six in that Science, plus one additional six in another Science. What does a study program look like? Well, you'll study five hours per week per academic subject. You'll have one hour of tutorial a week where we'll cover topics like personal development, similar to what you might study at the moment in PHSE, but we'll also look at work-related learning and preparing you for employment in the future. You'll have an individual personal tutor. They'll be one of your subject tutors. They'll know you very well and they'll see you every day. And they're your first port of call if you have any issues. Finally, we ask you to do 15 hours independent study outside of your lessons each week. And we do find the students who get into good study habits straight away are the most successful. So, what support's available? Well, if you need academic support, that will come from your subject tutors or myself and Jess Hanley, the two heads of year. Pastoral support is provided by the personal tutors and a fantastic team of pastoral managers. In addition to that, we've got the cross-college team of wellbeing advisors, college counsellors, safeguarding manager and the additional learning support team. If you do need any additional support during your time here at college, you will get it. So, how do we communicate? Well, Communication with parents is really important to us, so personal tutors will communicate with parents in all the usual ways, texts, emails and phone calls. You'll also be invited to parents' evening throughout the year. Something that we've set up a couple of years ago was a parent portal, and you'll be invited to sign up for that in September. You'll be able to access students' attendance, punctuality and grades. Finally, I just wanted to share some success stories really from the past 12 months. Um, this is Beth. Beth came to us from St Anne's Academy. Uh, she was a social science student. She studied sociology, psychology and criminology. That's one of those applied subjects I was talking about earlier. She got two A stars and an A 
and she wants to be a mental health practitioner in the future. Now she's gone on to study psychology at the University of Westminster. Really hard working student and it's paid off for her. This is Waleed. Uh, Waleed was a science student with us at the college. He studied chemistry, physics and maths. He came out with two A's and a B at the end of his A-levels and he's now progressed to the University of Manchester to study mechanical engineering. Again, another hard working student and he's got progressed onto the course that he wanted. Okay, this is Anastasia. Um, Anastasia came to us from the Elton High School, just around the corner. Um, she studied A-levels in maths, biology and English literature. That's three of those facilitating subjects that I talked about earlier. She got two A's and a B at the end of her study programme and she's now progressed on to the University of Durham to study human biology. This is Ellie. Ellie took a little bit of a different route to the others. She didn't want to go to university and she decided to apply for an apprenticeship instead. So Ellie studied business, maths and accounts and she got three A's at the end of her A-levels. Um, she's now secured a really competitive higher apprenticeship with KPMG. So you don't have to go to university after your A-levels, whichever route you do take, we will support you with. Thanks very much for watching. I just want to wish you all the best of luck with your GCSEs and we'll see you in September.